What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another fab video. My name is Carl and I'm at Incarlson Rating. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Incarlson Rating. So in today's video, I will be talking about something I am very, very passionate about, which is man heels. For to buy them, the brands cater to men who love wearing heels and also a bonus segment on the last part of the video. Also, before we begin, I would like to ask everyone to please like, subscribe, and share. And that would really motivate me to create more content. And because this channel is not just for me, it's also for everyone. So let's hop right into it. In my strongest, most passionate opinion, I think men can, should, must, may wear heels. Because why not? So for a long, long time, my mantra has always been the higher the heels, the closer to God. Or, or the higher the heels, the closer to heaven. It is true from my experience because I've always loved wearing heels. And true to form, there is a sense of euphoria whenever I wear a pair of heels. Also, I wear heels because it completes my look. It exaggerates my, my silhouette, my presence. That's the perfect word. And I mean, sorry, heels are not just footwear. They are works of art. Wearing heels is a form of metamorphosis. So this is just a little history. I first um, experienced the fun of wearing heels when I thrifted um, a pair of chunky heeled boots. At that time, I bought the boots because I think that would look awesome with my existing you know, personal style. I mean, I couldn't think of any kind of footwear that will complement my androgynous style. So this whole discovery of heels allowed me to discover new designers from the likes of Tom Brown, and Gareth Pugh, Comme des Garçons, Roger Rani, Rick Owens, and many more. And I'm really thankful that they have created um, like a strong narrative, a strong branding of um, genderless fashion for you know people like me who doesn't conform to the norms if you think that wearing heels is something that you can do or if the idea of wearing heels appeals to you i'd say do it trust yourself it's 2021 you're not alone i know people will look people will stare who cares just take it easy and ask yourself should i think of them or should I think of my own happiness? What you also can do is to start with a low heel. Like when I started wearing heels, I didn't go full on, you know, high heels. Something that will not draw too much attention. So if you're somehow new to heel, start with a Chelsea boots. As for styling as well, there are questions like, oh, I'm not that avant-garde, I'm not too fashion forward can't wear heels. Um, heels doesn't look good on my aesthetic or my personal style. I guess that could be true but there are many options now. If you're into like 70s rock glam look, there are heels or man heels from Gucci or YSL. Or say if you're into like tech wear or designs from like Alex or a cold wall or Y3, I would recommend wearing something like a chunky boots with a slightly elevated platform that would be a good start or if like me you're cycling along the lines of avant-garde then you could invest on heel boots from margela and get the tabby boots also dries van noten did a chunky low heel boots or even andy mulemeister has a lot of options that are subtle but understated just be prepared that people will stare people will notice the difference because let's be real wearing heels for a guy is still something new at this stage but as long as you are confident then that will shut their mouth and hopefully they will realize that a guy wearing heels is okay because it looks good and that is how we change the perception of the society creating 
you know, small changes, small ripples of changes that will create a dramatic change. And in the future, say like 10 years from now, the future generation will just think of heels as, you know, a part of, a part of clothing. It's not going to be identified as a gendered piece. Just a quick history. So back in the days, heel signifies money, power, and status. I think the first men who wore heels were the Persian cavalry men. And then these Persian men have influenced people in Europe in general. One of them is King Louis XIV. But like I said, in the 70s, um, heels made a comeback and one of the most notable icons is David Bowie and according to him actually he said that heels make him superhuman there's also rock bands like New York Dolls you know the band Kiss who are very popular in wearing eight inch platform boots also let's not forget Prince he um, is also one of the proponents of androgynous fashion in the 70s 80s in his entire career, he has accumulated 3,000 pairs of heel boots. These androgynous icons have helped an entire generation to accept non-binary gendered fashion at a time when homosexuality and gender fluidity are taboos. However, as much as I love heels in general, I'd have to be honest. Practicality-wise, wearing heels may not be the best when you're always on the go, it can be tricky and uncomfortable, let's be real. And I think that's a fun part of it because it pushes you. Comfort will always be personal. Like this Rick Owens boots, they look benign, basic and comfortable because they're like low and they look harmless. But like when you walk 30,000 steps in a day, I think this wouldn't be the most sensible shoe that you can choose but i wear them anyway as i said things are changing in fashion and lately i've been seeing a lot of visibility among men wearing heels among different fashion subcultures and i think there is more openness compared to 10 years ago there is definitely a normalization in guys wearing heels and one of them is my partner loren take him as an example before, when we bought these tabby boots, which has, you know, a bit of a heel, for him that was like a big step. But now he finds that this heel is way too low. So he jumped into this Chelsea boots from ASOS, which features like, what, 1.5 inch heels? And he didn't stop there. He felt like he can handle a higher heel. So he upgraded his heels to this. You know, this is the Rick Owens Walrus Wedge. So it features a concealed slanted wedge. It's not too high, it's not too obvious, but you know, there's still something different with it. So on his birthday, I gave him this Rick Owens Biker Wedge, which features four inch wedge. So imagine him from this to this. Wearing heels doesn't mean like you have to go all out. You can always start from small, from short, and then you can increase your stance from basic to punty. So today I'm also going to be sharing with you guys where you could buy man heels if you're ready to dive in to embrace a new aesthetic and if you're ready to wear heels. So the first staple that I'll be talking about is the brand called Syro. So Syro was a brainchild of two best friends in New York. It's a brainchild of Xiao Bohan and Henry Bay. So I actually worked with Henry Bay in the past. Um, Henry Bay used to be a buyer. So the brand Syro was conceived in 2016. Syro is the shoes for streetwear. It's a type of shoes that you will wear because you want to wear it. So thanks to the brand Syro for creating amazing heel boots because they have sizes from 9 to 14. And I think shoes, clothing, cosmetics should be inclusive like everyone should be able to enjoy it. Second shop that I wanna um, talk about is the brand called Roper. 
So Roper is founded in 2016, which is a London-based label. His collaboration with Jeffrey Charles Loverboy was a huge, huge success. His works became more and more known when actually when Harry Styles commissioned him for his solo performance. Which is so funny because I've always thought that Harry Styles wears Gucci all the time. It's actually not. It's actually from Roker. I also love, love the Roker Westburn boots. And I think that's your signature style. It's low heeled with a Cuban heel, but square toe and it's more of like mid calf boots. So it comes in a plethora of jewel tone colors like mandarin orange, eggplant purple, and canary yellow. So I think that's fun. That's what missing in the menswear fashion scene. Colored shoes. So thumbs up rocker. So the next brand is 80s. So 80s was known for minimal sneakers back in 2012 during their inception. So 2012 was a, was a grand time for minimalism, norm core fashion if you remember. But I'm not going to talk about their sneakers. What I'm going to be talking about is the Daya heel boots that they've released for their autumn winter 2020. So the recent fall winter 2020 Gaia boots comes in four colorways and also mind you it has an extensive sizing from women's 35 to men's 46. I think 80s nailed the design so it's a square toe boots again. Square toes it's everywhere and the heels are ribbed creating a really sculptural feel. The style is very e-boy, very Y2K vibes and this can be an alternative if you are a guy or a girl who loves Balenciaga, Acne, or Prada. So the next label that I'm talking about is United Nude. So recently, the designer of United Nude, Rem Kulas, collaborated with the model Sean Ross. The collaboration was a success. Actually, the said collaboration only released 400 pairs of boots worldwide. I can't find a single pair online anymore. I think it's sold out. His design approach is architectural with a flair of geometric and sensible designs. Actually, he has collaborated with forward-thinking designers like Issey Miyake and Iris Van Herpen. He has created a capsule collection or a limited edition line with Sean Ross who is known for his activism for LGBTQ and the unisex project celebrates diversity with the classic Cuban 3-inch boots again with a square toe silhouette and according to Sean, we always wanted to have a heel for men that signifies us. We wanted to have something that celebrates us, something that feels comfortable. Not always putting a heel on for this one special night. It's a heel for when you're going to the grocery store, you're going down to see your next whatever, you're going to see something corny. I think that rings so true because like I said, I wear heels. I want it to be part of my wardrobe. I simply want to wear heels and I think that's enough, you know? You don't have to explain yourself. So the next that I want to feature is random identities. So if you remember Stefano Filotti, he was the head designer of YSL before YSL became Saint Laurent. He was the head designer of 2004 until 2012. Among his most notable contributions in YSL is the Muse bag and the YSL caged heels that was so popular naturally it was my dream shoe back then and in 2017 using his personal instagram account pilati uploaded 17 looks from a new self-started brand called random identities it is considered his brainchild his personal independent fashion brand according to him it's an extension of his personal style because he personally selects and designs the clothing down to the footwear and one of the shoes that really caught my eye is their chunky heel boots with hidden platform. Their shoe size ranges from 41 to 45 and it's available in black suede, white, and the leopard print. And the pricing is not too bad actually. It's $635 at Essence. Another androgynous heel called the Worker Boots features a rubber cap toe and a rubberized counter. It's also Vibram rubber sole, very sensible and practical for walking, especially during, you know, wet season. 
And last but not the least, if you want unconventional fashion, if you're into avant-garde, if you're into dark fashion, I would really, really suggest this label, Trippin. It's a Berlin-based brand and I've known this brand since 2010, 2011 and they've been creating fashion-forward footwear. They are known for the geisha-like, getta sandal-like platforms and I think that's one of their signature styles. So if you're an individual who celebrates extreme fashion, extreme style, and I think this is for you. They do size men 39 to 44. They're also a great alternative if you are into Rick Owens or Yuji Yamamoto or Combe Garçon because I think the designs will easily mesh with that sort of aesthetic. And prices range from $500 to $700. Thanks to these brands for creating well-thought, well-considered design as a way of giving us options. Options that it's meant to bridge the gap that has been missing for so, so long. And as promised, there is a bonus segment in this video. So what I did is I've interviewed guys who wear heels and these guys are the people I admire, people I follow Instagram and I thought of interviewing them to just get a gist of their experience. So first up is Bliss Foster. Welcome to the analysis of Rick Owens Spring Summer 2021 Flagathon. He's created amazing content on YouTube and Instagram. You want to learn fashion on YouTube, I think his YouTube channel is a place to be. So recently, a reader of his gifted him the Marjola Tabby boots. According to Bliss Foster, thus far, I only have one pair of heels, but I love them. I have the full two inch Marjola Tabby boots. They're comfy and easy to walk in. It's so exciting to me that guys are more open to wearing heels now. They're another great tool for self expression. And this is the photo of him wearing the Tabby boots. I think he did well. Another one is Chris. And I think he's got a really great sense of style. And on top of that, he wears men heels. And according to him, I started wearing heels just because I thought they looked good. I was attracted to the power that they bring with them. And I think Rick has really executed the feeling well in every iteration of men's heels he's designed. Both the kiss heels and the glitter heels I have present really imposing shapes that attract attention and suggest androgyny without coming across as overly feminine. Wearing them feels a little uncomfortable at first, both because physically they demand a different kind of stride, I agree, and because it's easy to be hyper-conscious whether or not people are looking at you. But it's easy to settle in and get comfortable with them quickly. People definitely look at you. But at least for me in my city, it's less judgmental and more amusement of interest. I've had a couple of people make comments, but it's only been positive. And at the end of the day, they're just shoes. I wear them because I like them, and anyone who wants to try to judge them can screw off. That's the attitude. Another guy who I interviewed is the popular fashion photographer in the Philippines, Vijay Pascual. According to him, it was around Halloween of 2016 in New York. I had three Halloween costumes and needed platforms for my David Bowie costume. So I got a cheap pair from H&M. I liked how they looked on me, so I decided to wear them with my two other costumes. A few days after, I was aimlessly looking around and found a nice pair from Balenciaga from the women's section. And the rest is heel street. Lol. The most unforgettable moment was probably the day I got my first pair of Balenciagas. While I was waiting for my friends outside a restaurant in New York, I noticed Steven Mysel and Anna Sui. And then they suddenly asked me where my boots were from and that they're cute. A few moments later, Marc Jacobs arrived, then Naomi Campbell. It was crazy. So see, like people really notice a guy when they wear heels. It just depends if the people around will, you know, approach you in a positive way or in a negative way. So if you get like a good experience out of wearing heels, and I think it's a good motivation. What I hate about is some people or guys who have this toxic masculinity. It, I think it's just disgusting. And according to BJ Pasquale, he's never stopped wearing heels. 
So I think he's got a fair bit of heel collection now. He's got the white Balenciaga, which is, you know, the Demna Vasalia for Balenciaga menswear collection in 2016. And then he's got the black Balenciaga with the logo prints all over, the red heeled cowboy from Ghani, the black Balenciaga platforms again. And then I think he's got a few from Gucci. And also he's got the Sean Ross and United Nude limited edition collections. I've known BJ Pasquale back in the days and I never thought of him who's into heels. Like his fashion is very dapper, very classic. Seeing him in like in high platform boots was really, really refreshing. Someone from the Philippines who's considered a fashion icon, I think is doing great because he's becoming an instrument for the crowd that wearing heels for guys are okay, that it's um, just fashion, it's meant to be fun. It's not something to be taken seriously. And last but not the very least is Tony. He's a young fashion designer based in Paris. He's known for his avant-garde style. He wears man heels so well. He's got real attitude, real fashion that is not pretentious or contrived. According to him, the tabbies are so comfortable for real. I never been used to wear heels before, but they were so cool and comfy. I put them instantly after buying them. Wow. I keep my walking rhythm and this is ultra important for me. I walk really fast and I can do it with tabby. I don't put my attention to my walking attitude and don't care about what type of floors I'm walking on. So I even can run and I was so surprised. Of course, people stare, but I feel so charismatic and powerful and tall that I absolutely don't care. And also, it's a good timing because he recently bought the Rick Owens Kiss boots with the grills. I asked him his experience and according to him, it's comfortable but I have to carry about my attitude to don't fall off. It's more complicated than the tabbies but it's really satisfying. Obviously, I can't run but the most important is the charisma I have with them. I'm taller than everyone and people are very curious about it. So it allows them to communicate and ask what the hell is that. It's a good experience. Yeah, people will stare, but you know, you just soldier on, you just move on and just go on with your day. I think the more that you overthink, the more that you become super sensitive or super aware of the people watching you or staring at you. So Tony is telling us that you just have to find your courage and find your stride and rhythm and just don't care at all because if you start caring about them, you're gonna start to lose yourself. So guys, thank you again for watching my video. If you are planning to buy any shoes from the brands that I've mentioned, feel free to comment down below. If you got something out of this video, please like, sub, and share. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you, bye, love you!